So we're back for a new video uh, on an update, actually, is what it's gonna be, of our pedal board. But first, uh, a little bit of an update. Uh, we're working on some new music uh, that we wanna release. Who knows when, really? I'd like to see the first of the year, but we'll say whenever. Uh, anyways, uh, we added the sub last week, like we mentioned in our last video, um, but we have this week taken it away because uh, the low end of the sub didn't go low enough uh, to go um, well with the speakers that we have. We have a set of Focal Alpha 80s. I've talked about them. Um, there's a video I think we did last week on speakers. Um, they're in the mix cubes, and I think we mentioned, um, which go watch that video if you're curious about our mix cubes a little bit. Um, but we talked about our alphas in that same. But anyways, the sub and it didn't quite, uh, they didn't quite pair, pair well together. Um, the low end was about the same with both of them, so it really didn't give us any extra extension of low end that we wanted. So um, it's been returned. Uh, we're gonna stick with the Focals, just the Focals, no subwoofer, because the Focals do have quite a bit of low end in them. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that as soon as I can figure out how to do that. Anyways, um, that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about this guy that I'm picking up here off the floor, our pedal board. Um, it is um, the one we use here in the studio and live and just kind of everywhere. It's a good guitar platform and it's constantly changing. Um, there's stuff coming off, coming on, doing all sorts of new routing. But anyways, this is the current setup and it's on a Pedal Train Junior. We've got an MXR DC brick here. It's got nine volt and 18 volt, but nothing in between the two. Um, they do make one that does, this one does not. Um, most of the stuff I'm using is nine volt. 18 volts handy, but most of the stuff we got on here is, is nine volt. I checked it all out. It's all nine volt. Um, had to, so I know what to plug into. Anyways, we, we uh, kind of start out here with our TC electronic uh, polytune. Fantastic little tuner, um, especially for live, because you can click it, it mutes you, you can strum, it'll show you all the strings that are out of tune, um, sharp or flat, depending on how you see it. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what it does. You can do individual strings too by pressing, there's a little button on the side here that'll do different. You can also set it for bass, you can use it for a bass guitar if you wanted to. It's kind of just a handy little tool. Um, I absolutely love it. I'd get the bigger version if it didn't do, if it did anything extra, but it does the same thing. Um, I like the mini because it takes up less space. Um, goes out of there into the Warden by Earthwork, or Earthquaker, not Earthworks, Earthquaker. It's just a compressor, gives me a little more tone control with my Telecaster that I love to play. Um, a little more sustain, maybe a little more squash, you know, just kind of some tonality shaping is what it's doing for me. Um, and then it goes into uh, the PG-14 by JHS here. Just good, good overdrive. Kind of a neat overdrive. I'm not fond of the colors because it's blue and pink, but it is what it is. But basically it's an overdrive pedal and it's got a push function to where you can dial it in. Like if you were pushing a tube guitar amp harder, like if you're pushing, you can get that effect with it. Like with the, that tube breakup. Very, handy if you're going like into a IR cabinet which might we might put one up here I haven't decided yet like like the iridium um, I don't know I haven't decided yet but basically this guy here it's just a good overdrive um, I love it I've used it with amp without an amp um, straight into the interface you know friend's house what what whatnot um, after that it goes to this uh, I think it's tone Tone City, I can never remember that. It's Tone City, cheap little amp, little circuit. Um, basically, it's a phaser, but if you hit it with too much signal, it actually overdrives in kind of a neat way. And I didn't know that it did that um, until one day I just happened to turn this guy on here and it just sent way too much signal to it. And um, happy accident, we get uh, an overdriven uh, phase. Um, kind of a neat tone, not something you'd use a ton of, but it does sound pretty good if you're not if you're not pushing too much signal into it. Um, it was cheap, I think it was like a $40 pedal. Anyways, and then it goes uh, our Dig by Strymon, which is 
just a stereo multi-tap, essentially multi-tap uh, delay pedal. And it does, um, it's a digital delay. It does all sorts of things. It's got modulation and type and um, different mix times. Cause there are two different, there's two separate delays on this pedal and they're great. Um, I've got, I think I've got them set about the same time right now, but different mixes because you can set the mixes on them too. And you can make it swell and do all sorts of weird things if you play with it just right. But it's a stereo out. It's a mono in stereo out. And the stereo out, for the reason that it's in the last of the chain, is so I can go into two different amplifiers if I want to. Um, I can go into my Fender, I can go into my Ignator, and I can set those two to be something a little different, and then I can have them maybe ping pong. I don't know, just different delays, doing different things. And it's just kind of fun to play around with. Or I just go straight out into like an IR cabinet somewhere that, like I got a buddy that's got a Kemper that sometimes I'll plug this into, because I just, I like this. This is simple. Um, some of those ones, they just get over um, overkill, and then you're like, well, I don't know what I'm doing now. Anyways, simplicity sometimes is king. Um, in this case, this is our pedal board, um, and we're gonna add more. We might put, like I said, an Iridium up here, which is an IR. Um, basically, it's just a res uh, impulse response of a cabinet of an amplifier, and it's just in a little box that could go here that we could still go into amps, bypass and go into the amps, or if I go play live somewhere, I can just plug into it. Something that I can do that's analog that you know, is functional, lightweight. It's not heavy. I could throw this thing like a frisbee and it wouldn't matter. It's very strong, has rubber feet on it. Um, in case you're wondering, uh, just basically kind of, it's kind of a little go to pedal board, which is something I highly recommend in the studio. If you've got something in your studio that's kind of versatile, yet you can um, take it gigging and you can put it in the studio and clients can use it. It's just great to kind of have around. Um, whether it's digital, analog, doesn't matter. It's just kind of good to have a little pedal board set up all the time in case someone, their pedal board explodes, you can just go and be, be good. Plug it in, that's what that sound was. Um, just plug it in and go. Um, but that kind of ends the video, um, or at least that portion. Um, if you like our videos, you can like and subscribe to our channel. Um, you can hit the bell notification and you'll get a little notification each time we upload one of these videos or anything really, I think. I think it's everything that we upload. Anyways, um, we're really appreciative to those who have watched our videos and uh, keep watching because we've got more coming out and we're gonna be doing more hopefully in the coming months, we'll see. It gets to be a busy time of the year around Christmas so and the holidays. So we wish you all a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. And until next time, stay groovy.